Natalie Wood was an American actress who began acting at the age of four. She was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in Rebel Without a Cause, which came out in 1955. She starred in West Side Story, and she was a big-name star. However, let's fast forward to November 29, 1981. She was 43 years old when she drowned in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of Catalina Island. It was classified as an accident since she could not swim and had been drinking. But wait, L.A. County Sheriff's officials reopened the investigation in 2011. And in 2013, the county coroner changed the cause of death from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. So what happened? Who was with her? Why, why was the cause of death changed? Keep watching for more. Natalie had just finished shooting the film Brainstorm when she and her husband, actor Robert Wagner, invited friends to come with them to Catalina Island. There was stormy weather coming and most declined the boating trip. Actor Christopher Walken, who was there, he was the only one who decided to go. They had just finished having a family dinner on Thanksgiving Day at Natalie's home in Beverly Hills. They spent Friday night in Avalon before heading to the island. They had dinner and drinks on shore Saturday night at Doug's Harbor Reef. When they loaded back onto the boat, Walken and Robert had had an argument with each other. Natalie left them to argue and went to her room. What happened next has been the subject of speculation. At 3 a.m., Natalie got up and went onto the boat's deck. When Wagner realized she had gone above board, he went to look for her. He didn't find her, but did notice that the dinghy attached to the boat was also missing. Wagner contacted the Harbor Patrol, who searched but didn't find her. The Coast Guard also joined the search. Shortly before dawn, they had found the dinghy, but not Natalie. Authorities contacted Doug Bombard, who had great knowledge of the area. Doug found Natalie's body. She had a down jacket, which had filled with water. This would have added around 40 pounds to Natalie's body. In the original autopsy report in 1981, L.A. County Coroner Thomas Noguchi stated Natalie drowned after boarding the dinghy to get away from the arguing Walken and Wagner. That sounds crazy because why would she do that in the middle of the night? Plus, she can't swim. Furthermore, how bad was his argument that she felt she had to flee? This theory sounds very ignorant. It makes no sense. But two years later, he changed his theory when he wrote a book called Coroner. He speculated that Natalie had a few drinks, went above board to try to, to keep the dinghy from banging noisily into the boat, which was keeping her awake. She fell into the ocean, possibly hitting her head and drowned. She was not a good swimmer. So this theory sounds more reasonable. But what did the people who were actually on the boat have to say? Who all was on the boat with Natalie? Number one was her husband, Robert. He claimed that upon returning to the boat following an offshore meal, he had an argument with Christopher Walken about Natalie. He claimed Natalie excused herself and went to her room. Robert later found her missing from the room. Then he called the authorities. That sounds very reasonable to me. So let's go on to Christopher Walken's claim. He claims he doesn't know what happened because he was asleep. How convenient. He did say the dinghy was banging against the boat and her room was right near that part of the boat where all the noise was being made. She may have tried to move it. 
he added that part of the boat was wet and slippery and she probably slipped into the water. Then we have the captain's account of events. The captain's name is Dennis Davern. When he was interrogated by authorities, he did not name Robert as a suspect. Now, when he wrote his book in 2014 called Goodbye Natalie, Goodbye Splendor, Splendor being the name of the boat they were all on that night, he alleged that Robert pushed Natalie off the boat. He said Robert was jealous over what he perceived as his wife's flirtation with Christopher Walken. Robert broke a wine bottle onto the table. That prompted Walken, Christopher Walken, to leave the room while Robert argued with Natalie in their room. He alleged they were screaming at each other. Objects can be heard hitting the walls and ceiling. The fight went from the room to the deck. And that is when he claimed Robert pushed her into the water. In 2011, L.A. County Sheriff's Office reopened its investigation into the case. In 2013, the county coroner changed the cause of death from accidental drowning to drowning and other undetermined factors. The coroner's office could not determine whether the bruises and scratches on Nellie's face and arms occurred before or after she drowned. Now, Robert is noticed as noted as a person of interest. So what do you guys think of this story? Who do you believe? I want to believe it was an accident, but I don't trust any of these Hollywood actors. They know how to cover stuff up. I don't trust them. They get away with too much as it is, too much privilege. So do I think he did it? I don't know. I want to, I want to lean towards no, especially with another person with Christopher Walken being there, but he claims he didn't hear anything. So I don't, I don't know. Comment your thoughts below and like and share for more. Thanks for watching.